Classic Pro again. Back for more. Don't know why I queued Loom. That was mine. Your Jaras. Okay, I love to see you. Honestly, I love to see guys at Classic Pro just grinding the ladder. Makes me so happy. Ladder being active is one of my favorite things in this game. That's why I'm doing the Winter Stays On, for example, on Wednesday. Just want to see an active ladder. It's so crucial for the game. Classic Pro is a beast. Hello, Vinchester. What's up? He is indeed a beast. Winchester, if you want to play the Warlord Challenge later, I'll be here all day. It's up to you. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Of course, though, for Daniel. Sorry, I got to take it off. Why am I disrespecting Daniel like that? Uh, I'll put myself as 4-0 today. Do we won four games. I, st I keep count. I keep count. Sounds good. I thought about it, but maybe in two hours. Alrighty, alrighty. Sounds good. Like I said, I'll be here. So whenever it's comfortable for you. That's some fun practice. You got something to play for as well. That is very active to be honest. The top is always going to take a little longer. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I think um, the more and more players we get around like the 2500 level, the more it feels like there's always going to be someone on to play. I think that's really good. Because me having a good opponent is not only like content for me and like a gameplay for me and my opponent, like good practice, but it's also like people, a lot of people on the stream watching it. So like, it's also affecting the stream health and, and that kind of stuff, uh, which is very important. All right, go ahead and bring in some deer. Now with Gajaras, I really love to lure like three deers, honestly. I think it's really good. Someone wake up ACCM, he needs a hundred bucks to feed his kid. Bro, ACM is a savage. I actually love ACM. He's always down to play. How does the winner stay on work? Are the uh, work are the opponents progressively better? Uh not necessarily. We do a random draw, but I make sure the draft is really hard to give the lower level player an advantage. So like yesterday we had like Terz versus Kapach, and I give Terz the advantage of picking four of Kapach's sieves. Terz ended up losing anyway, but it actually felt like he had a good chance to win. I think he just had to be a bit more strategic with the Sith fix. Terz in the chat! Oh god, I need to make a freaking house. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just get Loom. Doomed. Actually doomed. Early Loom. Yeah, like, there's like, for example, you gave Dravidians, which first of all, I respect. Like, I, I know what you're thinking. Like, Dravidians, they're ass, just give them over. But, like, it turned out they're actually, like, one of the best migration stuff. So, like, that was kind of a mistake. Imagine losing to Kapoch. Look at Lewis. He opened up the winner stays on by losing to Kapoch. He started off her career. Yeah, we have Andy next. Honestly, Andy could kill Kapoch. But the way Kapoch has been playing, I and like Kapoch has already earned three hundred dollars. The way Kapoch is playing and what he's got on the line, I think he's, he should prepare very hard for this. He can easily, easily win the next two rounds and be crowned the season champion. Did I take one or two boars? I don't remember. That's a really nice woodland. I can stay on one lumber camp and the woodland's that thick. I think I should have given him only water sieves because they're only good on Migra. Yeah, that's a not a bad uh, not a bad idea. You give him only water sieves, so he has one good map, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have thought about it a little bit more, but it's hard because I don't give you time to think about the draft. Mm, I like opening arches with Gajara versus Cumans, though. Versus Cumans is difficult. Damn, more deer. I'm using two sheep though. I guess we can still go archers versus cumans. Hey, here appreciate you steaming. I tuned into Lewis stream to start the morning and he lost every single game and rage quit when he faced her angle. refreshing <laughs> to watch a pro streamer. Oh my god, Lewis, is that true? Thank you, Gronky, for the 15 months. Lewis, is that true? Yeah, that's really smart. I can't fight him. 
Camel Scout, it looks like it's good, but it's actually terrible. In uh, in Dark Age, it's good. It's really good in Feudal, though. In Dark Age, you get bullied by everyone. So sad. Yeah, I like opening archers with your jars here. Could be a nice option. Bring those sheep in. Go ahead, get uh, that set up. Oh, he took my sheep. Damn it. Whatever. It's just you. Not the end of the world. Oh, he sent him back. He's so nice. Gotta scout to see what he's doing. I was a bit late on my scouting here, to be honest. A pretty bad start. I lost the world as best three, not yet, but we have the whole day ahead of us, so we might uh, we might lose one as time goes on. I hope I don't have to lose one though, because hundred dollars is pretty steep. But let's see. If someone beats me in the best of three, I think they've earned it though, so that's fine. Not a lot of people can say they beat me twice in a row. We're looking at you, Lewis. Hope our streams are Harris hit Kryptonite. True, there's so many deers in the center, by the way. Crazy. The longer the day goes, the easier it is to beat me. I think he's too TC booming. Oh no, he's got a stable, okay. I'm gonna send my spear back then. And honestly, my camel back as well. I was just worried about him 2DC booming. It's a nightmare. Please don't die. Human scouts should be able to block this though. Yeah, she's gone. Took on her. I yeah, took some damage at least. Damn, one tile, eh? Nuts. That was so underwhelming. I could have got so much more there. I want to go for like a market. One more farm than I mark it up. I want to push cumins. I don't know why. Like I, I just like to push cumins to make sure there's no TTC shenanigans happening. I love using the camel to defend, it's so good. That was a good play from him, he just ran through. It's hard to keep track of the human scout. They're just so quick. He might kill one vil. I'm not gonna let him as best as I can. A little bit of harass for him. I'm setting up for my crossbow camel to push. If I show him that, if I don't know if he's like smart enough to realize if I do this, that means I'm all inning. I don't know if he knows that. Because that means he doesn't only have to read the game, he has to also read my habit. Did I do that a lot?
That's crazy that he got that though. Those scouts definitely paid off. I still my stone. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> What the hell? They're so fast. Wasting so much time. I'm just gonna go. Don't wanna waste too much, uh, too much time here. Go for the push. No, 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 please. God bless, thank God. Another lumber camp. For Ram, I wonder if he's actually adding the second PC or not. The elephant Ram is really broken with Kajaras, there's like extra damage. Yeah, I think he's 2 TC booming. So our, our, our strategy is perfect, by the way. Execution was a bit uh, a bit questionable, but the strategy is perfect. Now, this elephant Ram is gonna come in and absolutely just slap, bro. That guy's so freaking strong. Um, still a close game though. Not gonna do more than one ram. I think I need to. He's on night. Okay, that means I need more camels. Get us not making expo and just switch to pure camel. I won't lose any expo though. Wait, you're dead. You can't fight that. He's dead. That's a terrible fight. But I don't know why why tried that even. Like that was obviously a bad fight. I know it's a bad situation in general, but Whenever there's a bad situation, don't take a fight that you know is bad. Just just go back and try something else. Because now it's like impossible for him to come back after a fight like that. If it was hard before, now it's like almost impossible. I, st I, I still think he has a small chance though. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, definitely a weird fight there for him to take. Husband is really important, better than bloodlines. Because he can't fight me, so I might as well just chase him around. Honestly, at this point, I think we can do another round. Go for the town center. How many, how many uh, resources do those things cost? They're so expensive, but they slap so hard, though. Counter attack? Is it coming in? <coughs> Excuse me. Counter attack is here. Oh my god, I have spidey senses, man. Yeah, they literally play on all visible.
crazy. Really nice game. Really, really nice game. The, the push decision was absolutely perfect. Like I said, execution for me was definitely lacking. But I think I picked the absolutely perfect strat. I mean, like, the, the Siege Workshop came at the perfect time to break in. And he was on actually on 2TC. So, like, he has, like, 60 bills right now. There you go, 61. So, if I didn't break in now, I'm dead for sure. If I added 2TCs with my brain off and autopiloted like Lewis, I would lose for sure. And this is a matchup that favors Gorjara's. Uh, so he, he played a really good game to be honest. I think he did better execution than me. Really nice strategy from him as well. But I think I just got him with the nice siege push. And uh, I don't know if I caught him off guard. But I definitely attacked him before he was ready to be attacked. And it's really hard to defend us as the humans. This is like the counter to the 2TC boom. Really nice game though. Could have went either way.